Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and I just want to talk a little bit about a particular uh, event in the game industry that's happened uh, a few months back. Uh, there was two game companies, both of them well-known, widely popular. Uh, the first one is Activision, makers of Call of Duty, you know, Tony Hawk, all kinds of different games. Uh, one of the biggest game publishers besides EA. And then you got Blizzard Entertainment, which uh, was actually owned by Vivendi Universal. Um, but anyways, Activision and Vivendi ver merged together to form Activision Blizzard. And, you know, pretty much business is as usual for the Activision side of it. You know, obviously Activision holds the controlling power in that merger. Then whatever, you know. I mean, they got access to World of Warcraft now. So obviously they're making a lot of money. That's probably the whole reason, really, why they decided to do the merger, because of Blizzard. But, you know, Vivendi also housed other game companies. Uh, one of mine was a particular, particularly a favorite of mine uh, as I've been growing up. Um, and that company is Sierra. You know, I mean, Sierra nowadays, they're not exactly the big developer that they were. But back in the 80s and all the way th through pretty much until the end of the 90s, actually all the way until this decade, they were a major powerhouse in PC gaming. They never really roamed outside of PC gaming. They did a little bit of console stuff, but really until the recent years they haven't even messed with consoles. The only reason why they started going to consoles is because I guess, you know, they're the type of games that they were big for, like adventure games, text games, you know, those kinds of games, that's what they were originally big at. And those markets were just pretty much dead, you know, so I guess they had to revamp their format. But anyways I I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with what Sierra's been doing in terms of game projects, but I mean, we're talking about a massive change in that company's projects, you know, because of Activision Blizzard, uh, you know, their new policies. Oh, all the Blizzard games? Yeah, they're still fine. You know, World of Warcraft? They gotta be the dumbest people in the world to mess with that. Um, obviously, they're gonna be supporting. Diablo 3 a lot, even though I think it looks awfully like ass. It looks like a game that came out in 2004. I mean, the graphics are so poor. I mean, I know it's Diablo, you know. I mean, Diablo's probably going to be a great game, but they could have done more with the graphics. I mean, it's not even so much that the graphics aren't that detailed in the game. You know, it doesn't bother me that the game looks about as detailed as World of Warcraft did when it first came out. Um, the fact is, the fact that they changed the art style, the imagery of the game, that, that was one of my favorite things of the Diablo games, was that they were dark, you know, foreboding, you, you felt a sense of fear when you were playing those games, until you realize, of course, you're just running around clicking the mouse button, but you're, you're having fun by that time, you realize that's what you're doing in the game, so it doesn't really matter, but, anyways, the point is, they pretty much shat on Sierra. Sierra is pretty much dead as far as Activision Blizzard is concerned. Um, I mean, I don't know how many new, new game projects they've been working on that they've either canceled or have, you know, held off altogether. Like, the new Ghostbusters game? I mean, come on. The Ghostbusters is a huge franchise back in the 80s. Uh, I mean, some of the opinions of the first previews of the game was probably mixed, but the game still had ways to go in development. You know, so of course the opinions of the previews are going to be a little mixed, because, I mean, there's going to be bugs and all that good stuff in there still. But they put that game on hold. In fact, they might not even publish it at all. You know, they, they're pretty much telling that developer, hey, you know, you guys find a different publisher. I've heard rumors that Atari might publish it. I don't know how, because 
I'm sure. <laughs> you know, I don't know how they were able to hire Phil Harrison to help manage the company because they were pretty much bankrupt. They don't have any actual studios anymore except for Eden Games. Uh, they barely held on to the Dragon Ball Z license. Uh, you know, they had to take a loan out just to pretty much convince Funimation that they can keep the you know keep the series going. But I mean. And they're, now they're shutting down the servers for all the old Sierra games. You know, there are a lot of different classics like Tribes, uh, Homeworld. I mean, there's all kinds of different games. Some of these games are really old, like Red Baron, that they apparently still had servers for. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's really a shame. You know, Sierra may, has made a lot of great games. Throughout the 80s and the early 90s, they were big in the adventure games. Uh, they made a lot of different strategy games. You know, they were probably the kings of strategy games um, besides Blizzard of course, but I mean Blizzard's really only had two franchises in the strategy genre so, um, you know, Sierra was a big contributor to the RTS genre in general they made tons of different games, Caesar like I mentioned Homeworld before Ground Control, that was a good one but uh, yeah, they, I mean they're just pretty much, uh, that Sierra has to pull the plug on these, on these games because they're not getting the funding that they need from Activision Blizzard. And, you know, that really sucks. I mean, a lot of these games are pretty much a drop off the face of the earth in terms of multiplayer. Um, I honestly don't know what, what the hell is going on over at Activision Blizzard. I mean, but I would personally rather be able to have all those different games that Sierra makes, like Fear, than, oh, uh, World of Warcraft, where I gotta pay $15 a month to basically do a job, a desk job. It's ridiculous. I honestly don't know how I had fun playing that game. Because, I mean, I look back at it, and it, it really is a chore, you know. I mean, nowadays, you, you installed a copy of World of Warcraft on my computer, and, you know, say my girlfriend asked me to wash the dishes, or play World of Warcraft. I'd probably wash dishes because I'd rather have clean dishes than, you know, have no benefit at all for the work I'm doing. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, seriously, plus why would I want to pay $15 a month to do a job? If I'm doing a job, I want some sort of compensation or some reason to do it, you know. I mean, washing the dishes, you get clean cups, you know, you don't eat germs when you're eating food, World of Warcraft. Uh, you get to pay some game developer, uh, you know, their lunch money for the day or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I support the developers. I, I totally do, you know. But, I mean, why can't they make the game a less of a chore? I mean, I, that's that's one thing I don't even understand about massively multiplayer games. They make them such a chore. Uh, really going back, the only one I really enjoyed a lot was Fantasy Star Online. Oh, guess what? Sega shut the servers down for that one. Uh, well, I guess, uh, I guess maybe one day I'll put some money in and play Fantasy Star Universe, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm just really pissed about this whole Sierra thing pretty much getting shut down by Activision. You know, I mean, Activision is probably, in my opinion, the worst publisher out there. A lot of people will be like, oh, EA is so bad, you know, they destroy the industry, you know. But, see, EA, they actually make original titles. They, you know, the EA has really changed their format over the last few years. I mean, they used to be, like, old developers like Bullfrog. They just buy them out, uh, you know, or Westwood Studios. They just buy them out, pretty much destroy them, reformat the whole teams to different divisions of EA or lay them off altogether. And pretty much piss on the old franchises, but now they actually take a serious look at the, at the game industry as a whole. You know, EA is becoming one of the most original publishers and developers out there. They have a lot of different projects um, that they've been working on have finished recently that I have really dug, or have been interested in playing, which I can't say that about Activision. It's the same old bullshit. Down Phoenix out.